Hello and welcome to the in new series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment today we are going to discuss about the issue revolving around creating an Ahir regiment in the Indian Army. Very importantly we have to know about the facts with respect to the regiment system from the prelims perspective and also if we talk about the mains examination GS paper 2 from that perspective we have to learn about the analytical part. So, many topics we are going to cover under it, starting with the news. Since 4th of February, protesters demanding for creation of an Ahir regiment in the Indian Army have been gaining attention. And now today, as another a rally is going to take place, it is important for us to understand what are the impacts, what are the challenges and way forward with respect to it. The, the places which are going to be in the news with respect to the protests is going to be the Delhi Gurgaon Expressway and the Expressway authorities have also sent out certain uh, statements with respect to the disturbed areas that are going to be there with respect to protest. Disturbed area as in as the protesters will take on the roads, the traffic over there will be impacted. And specifically, the Kherki Dwala toll plaza, where the protesters have been, have been creating their protests, is going to be blocked. So, this is the entire issue that we are going to discuss. With respect to prelims, we have to understand that what is regiment system and what are the demands basically, how these demands would be a challenge to be fulfilled everything from the perspective of means we are going to discuss. So, this protest is going to be, it is being conducted under the banner of Sanyukta Ahir Regiment Morcha, which comprises of the people belonging to Ahir group in the South Haryana. And this was registered only in the year 2021, March 2021. In 2018, in 2018, also they had a protest, an indefinite protest of a, a sort of fasting protest it was, in which it was assured to them, the politicians assured to them that there will be a creation of a hit regiment in the Indian Army, which has not been fulfilled as of yet. And the protesters contend that the Indian Army has already, has, it already has a regiment, many regiments, on the basis of castes, such as Gorkhas, we have Rajputs, Sikh, Dogra, so Mahad, these are the many regiments based on caste system according to Ahirs. And they need a similar representation for themselves in the Indian Army. Now, in the Battle of Rezangla, it is claimed in 1962 that there were two 120 casualties. Out of that, 114 were Ahirs. With respect to this pointer, it is being contested that such a huge group is defending the nation. Why they do not have a similar regiment? The political support comes from basically the vote banks will come from Ahirwal region, specifically Gurgaon, Revery, and Mahendragarh belt. And as we know, Ahirs form a huge chunk in Uttar Pradesh. And Bihar, with respect to southern Haryana, they are a lot. And also southwestern Delhi and northeastern Rajasthan. So, in the coming upcoming elections, this is going to be one of the main things. Even one of the members of the Ahir community has said, who is in the protest, has said, we have also come up with a slogan, vote wahi paega, jo Ahir regiment banwaega. So, you can see all these slogans will play a huge role in the upcoming elections and that is why it is going to garner a lot of political scope. So, at a Shahidi Divas Samaro in village, Patoda in Jhajjar, that is in Haryana, which was held in September 2021, in order to mark the martyrdom of Ahirwal King Rao Tularam, for prelims, please read about him. Okay, Gurgaon MP and Union Minister, of state Rao Inderjeet Singh had said that they would raise his voice for a separate Ahir regiment. 
Similarly, many other politicians from across the lines, BJP, AAP, Congress, they are also coming in support for them. Moving on, if we talk about the regiment system of the Indian Army, this goes back to the colonial era when the British needed to administer India and they needed local groups to do so. Local groups were categorized on many criteria. They established regiments on the lines of military history. How have they fared in military wars? Also, race, caste, giving each, each regiment a distinct identity on the base of culture, way of dressing, tradition, ceremony and regimental pride. So, what are the benefits? What were the benefits for the British under it? First of all, when regimentation was done, the regimentization was done, it was supposed to play a huge role with respect to conquering the local region because the localites were more knowledgeable about what are the positives or the negatives of certain places. They knew the terrains. Also, with respect to the communication, it was much easier for a regiment to communicate amongst themselves rather than communicating among a heterogeneous group. Also, there was a sense of pride that since the colonial times, of course, there has been a pride which is enmeshed in belonging to one caste or one community. So, these are the many things that were positively playing for the British. So, that came across and one thing for prelims we have to understand, the first regiment ever made was the Madras Regiment in 1758. Okay, Then it was followed by the Punjab Regiment. We have Maratha Light Infantry and the rest, most famously Gorkha Regiment and also the demand is based upon that for protecting the, for serving as a bodyguard for the president, it is open to very few groups such as Sikhs and Rajputs, but not the Ahirs. So that is also something they are demanding for more honor. Now what is a regiment? A regiment is basically a fighting force which is divided into battalions. If we talk about the infantry regiment, there are approximately 33 regiments under the infantry. Okay, So, these are certain things we have to keep in mind from the perspective of prelims. What are the impacts that are going to be of the protests? First of all, we know that whenever protests of this massive instances form, it is a lot of inconvenience to the commuters who are going from one place to another. That is what is happening. And although protesting is a freedom of speech, there is a saying which goes like, the freedom I have to stretch my hands horizontally ends where it threatens the space of another human being. So that is something that we have to keep in mind. Although it is a freedom of expressing, under Article 19 of the Indian Constitution, it is a fundamental right. But there are also certain instances where the Supreme Court said roads can't be blocked like this when the farmers' protests were going on. So, as a bureaucrat, you have to keep all these things in mind. Then, challenges are such that as it is an emotive issue, emotive means it is an issue with this, which is based or premised upon one's emotions, how emotions are interlocked with belonging to a religion or a caste is very profoundly, it's a profound characteristic of this country. So that is going to be a challenge. How to tackle with this issue on the basis of objectifying things rather than emotions? Because for that, short-term political gains can be capitalized upon these. As I told you, there has been a slogan which is a pet slogan of this uh, protest. Vote wahi paega, jo ahir regiment banwaega. So, these kind of demands could lead to Pandora box of another demands. Not only for uh, having a place in the regiment, but reservation or other sorts of welfare as well. And political parties can gain a lot with respect to this, these short term gains. And if we talk about the way forward, we have to keep in mind that national security can never be politicized. It has to go beyond it. Stakeholders who are involved in this, politicians, the members of the Yahiri community, the Indian army and the government at large, they should come and sit together and talk because we know that nothing can be achieved 
from just one sided communication right so communication is has to come down over here and we have to move beyond politics because this is an issue of national security right let's move on to our means based question discuss in brief about the history of regiment system of the indian army also throw a light on the challenges related to the demand for creation of a hill regiment in the indian army write it in 250 words okay so that's it for today tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching